Hey guys, so in this video, we'll try to solve a uh, threesome, foursome problem. So actually, these are two different problems, but uh, what we'll do is we'll solve them in such a way that uh, we can solve them together and we would be making algorithm which is technically k sum. So like you can do till k sum for any value. So before going there, let's see what the problem is. So a threesome problem would say that like uh, we're given an array of integers and then in that array of integers, we need to find three element such that uh, their sum is a plus b plus c is equal to zero or it could be any target value. For simplicity, it's zero, let's say. So similar to that for some problem, same thing, given an array of n integers, we need to find four elements in that array a, b, c, d such that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to target or is equal to zero or basically any arbitrary value. So what we'll do is we'll generalize it to k sum. So if we are asked, can do five sum problem, can you do six sum problem? So we should be able to do all that. So uh, we'll do that. So let's look at the example. So let's say if our array is uh, one, zero, minus one and zero, minus two, two. And we are asked for uh, for some problem, uh, it's on next page. Yeah, for some problem with target equal to zero. So what will be the four numbers whose sum is zero? So obviously minus two, minus one, one, two, minus two, zero, zero, two, and minus one, zero, zero, one. So those are the four combinations whose sum is zero. Those are the four numbers whose sum is zero. Uh, similarly, same example, we just added a couple of more numbers, three and minus three, and same thing. Uh, find four numbers whose sum is zero. So uh, the similar solution set minus three minus two, two, three. Obviously their addition is zero, minus three minus one, one, three, and likewise all those combinations. So uh, that's the problem at high level. Uh, let's go to the whiteboard. We'll understand the problem better also on whiteboard and we'll figure out the algorithm also. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's crack this uh, threesome foursome problem. So before we start that, uh, I want to mention that uh, this problem or this algorithm depends on two sum algorithm. So uh, there is a separate problem in lead code, which is of difficulty easy. Uh, that says two sum problem, find two numbers in array such that their sum is particular value. So I've done a separate video on that. Uh, the link should come up in the top left right now. I'll also put the link in the description. Uh, I would recommend like if you guys have not solved it or if you guys don't know the approach, two pointer approach for two sum problem, I would recommend uh, pause this video right now, go to the two sum problem, click that link and uh, have that uh, clarified or figured out and then come back and then we'll solve this problem. So, but uh, at a high level, uh, what two sum does is uh, there's a sorted array and what we do is we have a left pointer and right pointer pointing to first and last element. And then we try to squeeze in those pointers or squeeze in the window such that the pointers end up to two numbers whose sum is the required target. So details would be in that video. I highly recommend you watch it. Okay, so moving on to this three sum four sum problem. So let's take this uh, array, so which is one, zero, minus one, zero, minus two, two. And for the sake of doing both algorithm together, what we'll do is we'll do four sum and hopefully eventually that solves the three sum problem as well. So let's say our K is four. So we are doing four sum and the target that we are looking for is zero. So uh, four sum with target is equal to zero. So first thing we'll do is we'll sort this array. So the sorted array will look like minus two, minus one, zero, zero, one, two. So now uh, the whole idea of this uh, three sum, four sum problem or nth sum, any number of sums, we need to deduce the problem to two sum problem. So let's see how we do that. So what we'll do is we'll loop this array and uh, for each number, we'll try to find the combination of numbers such that their sum is zero or target is zero. So we know that we need to find four numbers. So what we do is when we are at, when we 
uh, let's start with this number minus 2 so when we are at minus 2 what we do is we say that okay find three numbers in remaining array such that the target is 2 so you see what we are doing we are reducing the number of sums that we need so from four sum now we are saying that find three sum in this remaining array whose target is 2 so when that comes back with three numbers whose uh, sum is 2 we group it with minus 2 and we say okay these are the four numbers and target is 0 so that's the whole idea so we'll do that for each number now let's see how we further deduce that problem so uh, we'll say k is 3 find three numbers with target equal to 2 so the remaining array would be minus 1 0 0 1 2 so now we apply the same logic again we pick one number minus 1 and we say find two numbers in the remaining array such that target is 3 so the remaining array would be 0 0 1 2 and we need to find two numbers now as we said we can apply two sum problem uh, have two pointers find those two numbers so what this will come back is this will come back with 1 and 2 as the target is 3 so we have 1 2 and then we group it with minus 1 and group it with minus 2 so our quadruplet would be minus 2 minus 1 1 2 and that sum is 0 so let's see one more iteration so let's say this is done so now we move on to next number 0 so what we'll do is we'll repeat the same process we'll say find me two numbers k equal to 2 whose target is 2 since this is 0 the target remains same so in the remaining numbers so what this will do is it will find two numbers which is so in this case 1 2 in this case it will be 0 2 so since 0 2 target is 2 so this will come back with 0 and 2 so when this goes back we group it with 0 so it will look like 0 0 2 when this goes back we group it with minus 2 so our quadruplet would look like quadruplet would look like minus 2 0 0 2 and that's four numbers whose sum is zero so that's the whole gist of this algorithm keep deducing the problem to n minus one sum problem and then once we reach to two sum just simply apply two pointer algorithm and get the two sum and then keep grouping with the number which called that method so uh, let's look at the high level algorithm or high level code for this so uh, this is the k sum method k sum method in which we pass the index of the next number so if we are doing with minus 2 we say index would be 1 so start with minus 1 so then number of uh, elements that we need to have and the target that we need to find so sum that we need to find so we'll initialize a list to null now we have a special case as soon as k is equal to 2 as soon as we say okay I need to find two numbers whose target is this we say okay do two sum from this index to the end of the array and the target is this so this is the last stage of that uh, recursion loop so this will give us back k list uh, if that's not the case if k is not equal to 2 we go into else part so we just initialize a k list to a new list and then as we discuss we loop the array from that particular index to the rest of the elements and we recursively call k sum but we pass that okay the remaining array is from i plus 1 so next index and find k minus 1 numbers whose sum is target minus the current value so this keeps calling k sum until it comes to 2 sum and once it comes back to 2 sum the calls would keep coming returning back so once calls come back we get the this list into temp so a uh, two sum would return us that list and once we get that list what we do is as we discussed once we get two one we start grouping them with the numbers which call those methods so we say list dot insert at zeroth index insert the number which called this method so we keep growing our list to possible combinations and then we return that or we add that list and then we return that k list 
so the calling KSUM method. So uh, that's the whole algorithm. So uh, in case of three sum, we'll call this method as KSUM starting with zeroth index, K is equal to three and target equal to zero. In case of four sum, we'll call this method as KSUM index zero, K is equal to four and because target could be anything in that problem description, we just say target, target. Otherwise we could call with zero. So uh, that's the whole idea. Uh, I we didn't discuss one uh, thing in this uh, problem is how to handle uh, duplicate uh, solutions. So you know that there's zero, zero. So there is a possibility of having duplicate solution. So what we'll do is uh, uh, let's go back to the actual code and over there we'll uh, have this complete algorithm coded and then we'll see how to handle duplicates. Okay, so this is our uh, final code. Uh, this is C-sharp code. Uh, I also have Java code. I'll put a link to both the versions in uh, description below. So you guys have it all. Uh, so this is the main method. Uh, we're just uh, doing some right line and then we are calling KSUM. So uh, same array that we just discussed on the whiteboard, we are calling uh, KSUM where K equal to four and uh, our target is zero. So uh, pretty much exactly similar to what we discussed on the whiteboard. If K is equal to two, then call two sum. Otherwise keep recursively calling KSUM. So uh, I've had some comments that we discussed on the whiteboard. So yeah, so this is the part which we didn't discuss on the whiteboard. So uh, how to handle duplicates. So uh, if you remember the array on the whiteboard, uh, we had uh, two consecutive zeros. So when first zero comes in, in this loop, we'll call all this uh, good things. We'll call uh, KSUM recursively, we'll do all that, uh, and then it'll be done. And then when it comes here, what happens is, it'll say, okay, nums of i, which is zero, we just did it. And it'll check what is the next number. Oh, by the way, next number is also zero. So we simply do i plus plus so that we skip that number so that we don't do all this for that zero again. So once we have done that k minus one sum for one zero, we don't do that again for the next zero. That's how we'll handle duplicates. Uh, similarly in two sum uh, method, uh, we have that similar thing. Like once we have found the two numbers whose addition is to the required target, we make sure that the, if the next number is same, then we just uh, keep ignoring those combinations. So uh, yeah, exactly uh, similar to what we discussed on the whiteboard. So let's just simply run it and uh, make sure it does what we just discussed. So there you go. Our array is minus two, one, zero, zero, one, two, and the solution sets are uh, the three that we just saw. And for the other array, we have these uh, eight solution set that we just discussed. So uh, there you go. So as I said, like this is generalized for KSUM. Uh, let's actually, we can prove it. So uh, let's do it. So let's say instead of four sum, I call it for six sum. So let's see how it'll do. So, there you go. So, since this array has six numbers and they all add to zero, there's only one solution set possible. But for the second example, we have eight numbers. So, there are four possible solutions whose sum is zero. So, there you go. Uh, we can generalize to anything. You can go back to four sum and you can say, uh, I want the target to be one. So uh, any value is possible as long as the solution sets are there. So uh, there you go. Uh, the only thing we didn't discuss was the time complexity. Again, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, since we know that two sum for two sum problem, time complexity is O of N. So when we call for three sum, it'll loop each element and it'll call two sum. So it'll be O of N square. For four sum, uh, it'll be O of N cube and likewise, it'll keep going 
up for the kth sum so it will be o of n raised to k minus 1 so uh, there you go so uh, if you guys like the video if you guys learn something new uh, give me thumbs up and let me know your feedback suggestion in the comment section and then subscribe for more videos thank you